Well, we continue our coverage of the coronavirus and how it's being addressed nationally in the state and locally. And we wanted to look at how Multnomah County has been handling the crisis. So joining us via Skype is Multnomah County Chair Deborah Kafori. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So I, I guess first, what is the county's role in all of this? Sure, well, the county plays really a unique role. We um, are the public health authority, so we are leading investigation of cases and uh, mitigation. We're also uh, the safety net government, so the vulnerable folks in our community are coming to us for services. And then as a large employer, we have over 3,000 employees. We've had to really uh, you know, work on closing down some of our lines of business and reorganizing the structure of our government. Oh yeah, I would imagine just like everyone else has been. What has yeah. been the, the county's priority during this pandemic? Since the first day I learned about this pandemic, uh, my priority has been to slow the spread. And, and the strategy to accomplish that, I mean, you were just talking about really reworking the, the workflow of a lot of the workers, but how else, I guess, have you guys set out to accomplish that? Well, we, we really hit the ground running and it's been all hands on deck. Um, from the day we started with a uh, de declaration of emergency so that we could um, change the way that we do business, uh, get people redeployed from what they had been doing in their jobs to other areas of the county. Um, we declared an eviction moratorium for residential business for residents so that we wouldn't have more people on the streets. And then we worked to um, to do social distancing in our uh, in our shelters. We know that folks who are experiencing homelessness are incredibly vulnerable. And when they're living in congregate living situations, the disease can spread really rapidly. So we opened up um, some community centers here in Portland, the Charles Jordan Center, the East Portland Community Center. We opened up the Oregon Convention Center. Mm -hmm. And then we've had some amazing partnerships with business. Um, People may have heard that last week the Jupiter Hotel went into a partnership with Multnomah County so we can house people who are, are coughing or who feel ill. And then we'll be opening up even more additional um, motels and shelters for people who are who are ill. Oh, that is good news to hear. And yeah, so great that businesses like Jupiter have done that. Um, real quickly, any lessons that you've learned four weeks into this? Because I know it is kind of, there is a learning curve and we're all learning how to yeah. react and respond. Learning new things every day, but I guess um, I knew we had a great community here in Multnomah County, but I have just been overwhelmed. I'm really touched by the outpouring of support for people who are um, you know, experiencing homelessness from our businesses, uh, people donating their personal protective equipment. We hear about the lack of that and just people asking, calling all the time saying, what can I do to help? All right. Well, Chair Deborah Kafuri, thanks so much for taking some time with us this morning to let us know what's going on in Multnomah County. Thank you. Thank you. Well, stay with Coin6 as we follow every angle emerging from the coronavirus pandemic. We do have some really great resources on Coin.com that includes a section dedicated to facts on the coronavirus.